Hi guys, how are you doing? Dr. Anjana Bana here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy to have you and today we're doing microneedling and discussing these sort of invasive, well not, they're not really that invasive, but minimally invasive treatments on skin of color. So we're going to go through that and uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, so you also uh, are into skin. So you yes. can tell us about how into skin you are. How's my plan? That's pretty good. Eh? That, that was, was a good. very good yeah. plan. <laughs> yeah, my name is Tepiso and I'm the founder of Into Skin, as Dr. Bana has said, which is a platform which is focused on melanin rich skin, so skin of color, and looking at what we as people of brown and black skin can do for our skins. Um, in terms of skincare and treatments and making sure it's safe for us as well so that's me you know everyone is doing aesthetics it's not seen as a caucasian thing anymore 86 percent of the world is brown and we really need to know what we're doing so we reduce complications and reduce something called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation which is a nightmare for all of us people of color because you go to a place you want to look bright you want to look great you want to look flawless and you don't want to come out of that place uh, with a complication uh, like that where you've got a little hyperpigmentation fine it will fade but for um, someone like us it's really really disturbing so yeah so we're gonna go through that and are you willing to share any treatments? Um, yes, I mean, I, this is a little treatment, I yes. think. I think microneedling is a little treatment because it really is about skin boosting. It's about collagen um, boosting the skin, hydration, looking at that pigmentation, also helping with that. So I think, of course, there are other treatments, Botox, threading. Um, but yeah, in the future, I think we should be more open as black people to share these treatments and I'm showing that we are part of the community that does do it. Um, there's no shame in it. I think looking like you've gone on a little vacation when you haven't is wonderful. So that's yes. Nice. And another little treatment that you've done is chemical peels. Yes. Chemical so peels, which are the because the, the word chemical is pretty scary, but yeah. uh, you are you do get peels that are suitable for all types of of skin, you just have to know what you're doing. And I think also going to the right person. So for okay. me, Dr. Bana and I go a long way. Yes. I mean, it's been probably over eight years. I actually thought about it today. Are you serious? Yes. I'm going to go look you one of those thick file people. <laughs> I'm like one of those thick file people. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think, yeah, it's, it, it's a matter of having that relationship with the person to say, you know, do they have experience with skin of color? Um, and if they do, that's also the relationship of Dr. B, this is what I'm facing, what do you think about it? And so it's a back and forth relationship. And I think that's really important when it comes to the professional we choose. So, Thank you. Yeah, Thanks yeah, for yeah. coming back, Tabiso. And then yeah, and then today you can see Tabiso is actually numb from here yeah. down there. What do you call it? From tip to nip, guys. But yeah. not going there. No, we're not. But, not that far but as, as no. I mentioned before, the French facial or what the French say is going beyond the face um, is the face. So always remember you can do treatments everywhere. And we are going to do a treatment all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. And then just going to get a lacquer cleanse from uh, our sheetal and uh, then I'm going to do <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna needle you. Okay. Without feeling it. Without I'm feeling feeling it. Exactly. Yes, yes. And then we'll talk about um, what kind of depth and, and that sort of thing is. Yeah. Like. So I just did a super soft cleanse, um, which will just lightly cleanse the area before we microneedle and then I'm going to be using a vibrational cleansing device um, with a very light exfoliation in there and then some lifting movements as well. So you'll feel a light vibration.
just cleansing the um, face now and then next I'm going to keep it a bit moist and then using the same vibrational um, device uh, just to do some lymph drainage and lifting movements on the skin. Just moistening it a bit. So with the lifting, the vibration isn't like continuous. So you'll feel a little bit of a bit of vibration every like second or so. So we're doing upward movements because the whole point is to lift and then on the side of the cheeks we'll drain down to the sides. Is this like a high frequency? Um, no, similar to that, similar kind of um, basic the technology, but I'll actually show you the device afterwards. Ultrasonic, there's ultrasonic pulse. How does it feel? Quite comfortable. It, mm. I don't feel anything. I think more than anything, it's the um, sound that it's yes. making that's like a little bit weird. But uh, numb face means <laughs> I can't really feel anything yet. So tell me, so tell me what, what is bike? I mean, I know what is, but uh, what, what concerns you the most about your skin? Like, what would you like to address? I think today, um, and also before coming, I did call you and say to you, Dr. B, please let's look at the hyperpigmentation. Okay. More specifically, because obviously there's been some mask knee, as you know, everybody mm. masks, there's inflammation, and then of course the dreaded hyperpigmentation from that. Yes. Um, and then just some hydration, I think just additional okay. hydration to the skin and hey, prevention is better than cure. Fine lines and wrinkles, let's keep them at bay. At bay. You can use one serum, but it's nice that with this sort of treatment you can make a cocktail. And then afterwards, after the cocktail is infused in a gentle, slightly pokey way into Tepisa's skin. We're gonna, we're going to put on, um, you've had one of those hydrogelly masks, haven't you? No, okay, so you're gonna have a hydrogelly mask today. So uh, we love these hydrogelly masks. They drop the temperature of the skin, they reduce inflammation. And the one you're having is called a uh, brightening complex. So it's full of niacinamide, vitamin B3, good for repairing the skin barrier, good for acne, good for hyperpigmentation, as well as the magic. But uh, in here is a um, deep pigmenting solution with something called transemic acid as well as the NCT, NCTFHA. I don't know why that sounds so weird. I say it every day, but it's a very, very uh, popular product in aesthetic clinics. It's a French uh, brand, but it also has a lot of hyaluronic acid in it. Um, it has loads of vitamins, minerals, also glutathione. Uh, in yeah. here and then another solution called skin mark so things aimed at scarring hyperpigmentation and uh, hydration and so, antioxidants that glutathione is magic for that yes yes 
Okay, so we're gonna start with your skin and we're going to go low. Uh, you know, as I said previously, it doesn't mean that when you mean microneedling, you must massacre the skin or cause massive bleeding. A little bit of redness, a little bit of erythema is okay and pinpoint bleeding, but it also has to be to the level of where the hyperpigmentation is. So, um, hyperpigmentation is actually in the epidermis so the most superficial layer of skin and already at 0.5 millimeters you are in the dermis already so there is a bit of pigmentation there but we're going to keep it superficial for tepi so at some spots 0.5 at some 0.3 so delicate areas here in the upper face uh, like a smaller needle depth or short needle depth. Cheeks are usually like thicker and like more robust. The skin is more robust there. So we will um, go a bit deeper there. Also an interesting thing, the difference between uh, white skin or as they call it Caucasian skin and uh, black skin is that they are more fibroblasts. So you find uh, a really amazing result with all these collagen uh, stimulating uh, treatments as well as you know skin boosters things like that so you'll probably get a really nice result yeah from this. melanin is magic but it's also sensitive right yes so this is why we have to be careful with yes. regards to what we do to our skins mm -hmm. and having the right person do it i think that for me is like key yes when it comes to professional treatments so thank you thank, thank you, you. <laughs> so first we're gonna pop on some glide so this is also hyaluronic acid with some zinc in and once that's needled in I'm going to put on that super serum that we made for you. And hyaluronic acid, like Dr. B, everybody's using it, right? Because it's mm -hmm. hydration, hydration, hydration. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it is. And like a good tip with hyaluronic acid is before applying, you should make sure your skin is moist because it's a what they call a humectant. It like attracts water, absorbs water, so um, and retains water. So if your skin's a little bit moist when you apply, it retains that moisture onto your skin. And then, so be so your hair is super duper healthy. But I know you also mentioned it to me before. It's there's a little bit of thinning here, um, and you know we were chatting about uh, traction alopecia, so. Yeah, so every time you go for needling, you should have your hairline yeah. as well. I mean, what a benefit, right? Um, it's kind of stimulate those hair follicles to grow out more hair and it's healthy hair. Oh. Are you feeling okay at this step? Yeah, and it's like, obviously I'm numb. Yeah. Um, it's not as relaxing as Sheetal's kind of play <laughs> and yes. variation. Um, and that's another thing I think people should know is that when it comes to revitalization and rejuvenation yes. treatments, it's there are going to be treatments that are uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Like, there are going to be treatments where um, you do feel a little bit of discomfort, um, but it's not a sort of traditional spa treatment where it's yeah. all relaxation. That's the important thing and these this is like you know medical aesthetics a lot of it so um, with that comes some sort of uh, risks and well of course benefits and I think you know we were just talking about this the other day um, that it's it's glamorized you know Botox fillers all of those things are glamorized on things like Instagram where it's 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 actually a serious treatment that you have to think about before you do it. And people are doing these sort of treatments at home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really don't want to kind of comment really terribly, but I just think that's really dangerous. It's yeah. a dangerous practice. Um, I think for brown and black people, I wouldn't suggest anybody trying this at home. Yeah. Uh, the damage that you can cause to your skin and the result of having it even worse than it was before, that risk is just too high for me. I would rather come to a professional person and know that I'm in safe hands rather than try to do this by yourself at home. No. And uh, you'll notice I'm going really slowly. So yeah. with the, with the Dermapen, you can go fast, you can put the speed up uh, quite high. But um, with a lot of us, we have an issue around the mouth. Very oral hyperpigmentation, often from, uh, well, now with the mask, it's making it worse, but that friction okay. of uh, 
moving our mouths a lot you know so so we get hyperpigmentation there so not to go too aggressively or too fast so just more serum there before i move on to your neck and Peter can tell me if your face is feeling a bit tight or itchy or a bit uncomfortable. No, not at the moment, actually. Okay. I think, um, yeah, the numbing cream has done its job. And you can see, because you do have a slight tendency to go red, there is a few red spots. So that's normal. And often when our redness or that inflammation is dissipating, it's... Uh, looks sort of brown but that's not pigmentation over yeah. like day two or three okay so i should expect a little bit of kind of redness yeah. dryness tightness flaking even sometimes okay. okay i'm gonna do your lips at the end okay what other treatments would you say would complement this because like I, I think like a chemical peel is great and then would you say then wait a few weeks and then complement it with microneedling so you can you can alternate um, you can even alternate them safely at two week intervals depending on the aggressiveness of uh, either okay um, or four weeks oh, okay. and there's some treatments but your skin has to be like pretty prep before you do something like this is where i would never do it the other way around and i know people do is where they needle and then they do the peel uh, uh, i would we, we there is a protocol we have where we actually do a superficial chemical peel also aimed at hyperpigmentation and then we do a needling after that with no numbing but very low setting just to get into the very top layer of skin okay. uh, and then like mask and led light after so you can do them together but yeah, your skin has to be in a good place and you have to be really good with your sunscreen before doing that. Okay. And then just a question for those with acne, especially mm. like live acne. Mm. You wouldn't need to stain skin that's still got sort of, you know, uh, pustules and things like that. Right? You shouldn't, you know, but uh, there's a setting on this that goes very high, like very fast. Okay. And supposedly it oxygenates the skin, but I still would not needle in um, very inflamed, pustular skin. I mean, you could spread it, you could irritate it. Now let's also do a controversial Oh kind gosh, of yes, yes, of yes. Me, because I'm allowed to. Yes. <laughs> At home micro needling that is so popular, you know, you see yeah. it yeah. on so many social media platforms. Should people be yeah. at home micro needling. Yes and no. So oh, okay. okay. So there is, um, if you can guarantee that you use like an aseptic technique, you can maybe do like a 0.2, which is just into the epidermis for product penetration or for mild stimulation. But that is it. And you have to be really good with disinfecting your device and throwing it away when it needs to be thrown away, especially like maybe the rollers. But otherwise, other than that, like doing something like this at home is a no-no. Um, unless you are a doctor with this pen or an esthetician with this, this particular type of pen or yeah. there's skin pen, there's um, some other FDA approved, I think it's InnoPen, you know, like a good quality pens if you are a professional. Uh, but I wouldn't do it at home because, um, you know, you're in wherever the bathroom or there's pets around and where do you, I don't know, I just don't think it's uh, safe. And you can, uh, it might seem easy and I know people do it and maybe they think nothing happens to them. But like I said, I actually said it on a previous video, you can get systemic issues from microneedling incorrectly and microneedling the incorrect things in. Yeah. 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 And also, I mean, if something happens, some sort of um, like side effect or complication, what do you do? Who do you, like if you go to a professional and someone who is truly a professional, if some sort of issue does arise from this treatment, which can happen, you will get help, you'll get, professional assistance yeah, so because right, they've been trained to actually yeah heal if something happens like yeah. that so they know it is this kind of 
concern and yes. so okay uh, this is what we need to do to actually sort of heal that yes that issue but you're right i mean if you're at home Kind of like, stuck there by yourself and also I mean you must also be careful where you go even if it's not at home so look at who you're going to because uh, we have had a few people that have gone to a particular place and um, uh, whoever's doing it is not an esthetician or a somatologist or uh, uh, or someone qualified to do it or a doctor um, and it's someone that also bought just a pen online and has like got a business and um, you know, if an infection arises, you're permanently scarred from that. I mean, PIH uh, from that is very difficult to get rid of. Um, it takes years of treatment elsewhere. So also, if you're going somewhere, just make sure it's the right somewhere. Feel okay? Mm-hmm. Spritz you to pieces so you'll feel like a cool spritz. Probably will really feel much better because I'm sure, because your skin is red. A little bit, yeah. so it'll. It was uncomfortable. Oh, so good. <laughs> that means you were very numb, <laughs> and also we didn't massacre the skin. Yeah. So I mean, you see, it's already red, and you, I mean, you, I, I wouldn't want to irritate the skin further like like this because then uh, there is the risk of hyperpigmentation post post treatment. So this is uh, white willow bark, glutathione, niacinamide. Brightening, right? brightening, calming, um, brightening and calming, which is what you want. Yeah. And uh, incredibly hydrating. And it's very cool. So when I put it on, you'll be like, oh, why? But it's, uh, it's very, very calming after treatment like this. To cover your eyes. So you can feel the cold, but it's nice. It's nice. It's a nice cooling. Mm. Like something like a like a sorbet on your face. Yeah, from the fridge. Like oh, sorbet. this actually smells like sorbet. It looks like sorbet, like like a pellet cleanser. Well, like uh, like delicious. a it does. I know you can't respond to me, but I'm going to put the LED on for you now and you can just relax. So we've got the LED on, it's on a cycle which is seven colors. Um, if specifically you want to address breakouts, active breakouts, blue and hyperpigmentation, green, collagen production, red, but this is a nice cycle so you'll get uh, all the benefits. Feel your skin's really cooled off. Yeah, it is. Um, it's just really, really soothed. So. I'm gonna put on um, 
something called phytocorrective mask it's a botanical mask from SkinCeuticals and then I'm gonna put uh, fast skin repair then yeah what are you what are you using at home now to be so if you can just like a really good really moisturizer so it's got um, uh, niacinamide mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, it's got vitamin b5 which is the panthenol yes yes it's got good old glycerin because we you know the yes. underrated glycerin so it's like a really hydrating moisturizer and okay then a tinted sunscreen um for sure every single day yes uh, just to protect the skin and also if you're fighting hyperpigmentation i think you need the sunscreen you cannot do without it mm -hmm. and um in the evenings what i love i've got your red flower oh yes okay oh so, yes Oh, thank you. So we have our own brand. It is a really nice uh, retinol. It's got cer uh, ceramides and niacinamide in it as well that work really well together. And it's especially if you're not ready for a prescription um, uh, tretinoin um, and if you maybe want to alternate and still have the benefit of a, of a retinol. But I'd say after this, even though it is nourishing with the ceramides, no uh, retinol yeah. for like, like three or four days. Okay, just yeah. that hydrating moisturizer. Yeah. Okay. And I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you some um, hyaluronic and regenerative to take home just in case. So, you know, yeah. I just think aftercare is also part of yeah. that process. Thank right? you for saying that. Yes, yes, very important. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, guys. It was a really fun session. I really enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, um, treatments for skin of color, you can drop it in the comments. And you can go check out Into Skin also on Instagram, right? Yes, on Into Instagram, I-U-T-U-S-K-I-N, Into Skin. Yes. So go check them out. Ask them some questions. Ask us some questions. And if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.